Okay, I'm back. And now I'm going to try my food that I just cooked in yesterday's video. And this is um, sea bass, asparagus, and sauteed, um, what did I say, sauteed, um, God, I can't remember. Sauteed, not spinach, sauteed, what is that vegetable? I just did it. Why can I not think? I have a brain freeze, y'all, I apologize. But I saute these greens with um, olive oil, onions, and garlic. So it's very, very good. Let me taste my fish. Mmm. This fish is, this fish is delicious. Piping hot. See that? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's full of flavor. It's very good. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's a good meal. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I wish you guys were in my kitchen. And these chives on top of the fish. It is so good. Normally when I bake fish in the oven, even when I bake salmon, I always put a little bit of extra olive oil on top once I pat my seasoning down. They keep the fish moist. Try that trip. You don't like it. This fish melts in your mouth. It is very good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Kale. These are kale greens. And this kale is a bomb. Mm, mm, mm. This is good, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna play that. Now, it's so funny. When I have company and I cook, I always stand up and eat. And my guests, they sit down. Be honest with you, I like to stand up and eat. Oh, this fish is so good. I know it's gonna sound kind of crazy, but I really enjoy standing up when I eat. Mm, mm, mm. My neighbor, she comes over. Guess what? She, oops, she sits down and I stand up. And then, mm. When I go to her house, I sit down and she stands up. Yeah, keep in mind, we, we can put more than one person on, this, on the side of the counter, but it's nothing like having that face-to-face -face conversation. So that's why we sit across from each other. Somebody sits, somebody stands. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. I love it. I'm gonna get some more of this fish. That is really good. I wouldn't lie to you. If it wasn't good, I would tell you. Have you all ever gotten in the kitchen and cooked and you bragged about how, how you know, you can make this dish really good, but only turns out, for whatever reason, that day, it came up, it just flopped. I did a seafood board one time, a while ago. Now, many, many times before, came out good. But on this one day, I did a seafood boil. It was terrible. And the reason why it was terrible, because I had people around me, while, you know, as I was cooking, they said, well, do it like this, do X, Y, and Z. I did X, Y, and Z, and my dish did not come out good. So, advice number one, if you are cooking the food, your food, for you or your guests, whomever, you cook it your way. Do not listen to anybody else. If they want to cook it like they want to cook it, tell them to host at their house and they can cook their food however they want to cook it. But in your kitchen, in your house, you cook your food your way. So, 
this asparagus. Mm, mm, mm. It's not crunchy. It's on a soft side for me, but it's like it's not definitely not soggy. Wow. I wish you guys were here. This is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, I'm going for seconds. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Make me to slap your mama. Don't do that. She might slap you back. Mm, 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 mm. This is so good. Now, the whole time with you guys, this meal will take, take nothing but what? Not even, not even 10 minutes to cook. Easy meal. I love quick meal. Good, quick meals are good. Mm, 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 mm. mm. This asparagus is really good. Not crying. Because I'm greedy and skinny, I'm gonna get another piece. It's more asparagus. Yes, I know. I know a lot of my friends get mad at me and they say, how in the world can you eat so much food? But don't get no weight. But it's also the kinds of foods that I eat. This is not bad. This is a healthy meal. So. Mm, mm, mm. You got. Look at the sea bass, you all. When I say this sea bass is good, I will not lie to you. It came out really, really good. Now, when I cook fish, I never make it the same way all the time. So, like, normally I put chili powder on here. But I didn't do it this time. This fish is juicy. Juicy and good. Now, the only thing that I have not done was make a homemade pie. But first of all, I don't really eat dessert, so. That's the first thing. But, I have made box cakes, like when I have people over at my house. And I'm gonna kick out back a cake, but I have never made a cake from scratch. And I would love to try that. But, like I said, this is all the dessert I need. Now I know in these videos, don't look over here. This, 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 the tank, you don't see all this. I can't even cover it up too small. So focus on me. Don't focus too, well, it's to my right. Now look at the camera. The bad thing is to be to your left. Don't focus back there. That's not important. What's important is this good food that we're eating, right? Mm. This is good. This is very, very good. That fish is seasoned right. When you season fish, make sure your fish is thawed out. Put like whatever oil you want or butter on it. I don't really eat butter, but if that's your thing, pour melted butter over your fish and your favorite seasonings and always pat that seasoning, like rub it, in, rub it into the fish, then pat it down. And that adds a little bit more of your, your oil, like if it's be butter, make it olive oil, pop it in the oven, you got the perfect fish.
Put it on brawl though. You can do salmon the same way. Put it on brawl. It's, it, it won't hurt it. I mean, this fish is juicy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Sometimes I can't stand myself. So, this food is so good. Mmm. This is really good, you all. Really good. So out here, where I live, I think it's raining outside. But it's, I can't tell, but it sounds like it. I don't know, but it sounds like it. Mm, mm, mm. This is good. It tastes like a restaurant, like a, a restaurant, fishing in a restaurant. Now, I do love rice and I do love potatoes. However, this will pair well with um, rice, mashed potatoes, but being a type two diabetic, I have to watch my carbohydrate intake. There's enough sugar in here, so. So during the quarantine, I'm surprised because I have not drank that much. Um, surprisingly, but I had my good days and bad days. Some days I just get up and I just start indulging. When I say indulging, I don't mean I don't mean I get drunk. I mean I might have like two or three glasses of wine. But, you know, just chill out and relax. I think tomorrow I'm gonna clean my house. I need to dust and vacuum because the clean lady's not here. And the thing about it is, my a friend of my close friend of mine, she and I, we went to this international market. You know that that powder stuff you put in the carpet, like it's, it's a carpet deodorizer. I've been trying to find this crap in Walmart, Kmart, different stores for I don't know how for how long now. Could not find it. Went to I think it's called I forget the name of the um, grocery store. But it's in Northern Virginia. It's an international market. They actually had the carpet freshener. So I'm gonna sprinkle that on my carpet so that my carpet can smell fresh. Now, when most people, actually, no, not most, when everybody comes to my house, people do not know I have a dog. My house does not smell like dog. Number one, she's only like what, 40 pounds? She, but you saw my dog. No, you haven't seen my dog yet. My dog will be in the next video. So, my dog, she not, I guess big dogs make the house smell like dog, but my dog, we can't smell her. When you come in here, in fact, I did one of my close friends' birthday party here. I came to that party several years ago, and people walked in and said, where is the missus? Because my dog's bed is, um, is pink and blue. They didn't see her, because she was put up. And they were shocked, like, but your carpet is clean. I'm like, but my dog is trained. We do have mishaps over here. So let me not just say it up there and say that she's, you know, every now and then my dog, she gets stubborn and she do stupid stuff. And then as punishment, she goes in her cage but as a timeout. But nope, my dog has not been outside during the pandemic. In the next video, you're gonna see she has passed in my bathroom out next to my kitchen. Um, she does everything in the past, number one. And number two, I'm sorry, I know it's TMI, you're probably eating, so I apologize for that. I said, oh no, you're gonna learn to use these pads because when it's windy, raining, cold, snowing, sleeting, whatever outside, I'm not going outside. So she's definitely trained to use those pads. 
So if you're gonna get a dog, a dog is a lot of work. The only reason why I have a dog is because I work from home five days a week. And prior to COVID, I was home three days a week. So it wasn't bad. So it was, it was good. But I wish my dog, I can leave her out, but she would tear my house up. She's a, well, when I got her, they say she's a Jack Russell mixed with Beagle. I don't see that. But no, I do see it. She looks like a Beagle, but she's hyper like a Jack Russell. But I love that crazy dog. Now I understand why people cry when their dog dies. I see it now. Because I, when I first got the dog, she was like, like a little mouse. And it was love at first sight. I saw her, I was like, I cannot believe I am falling in love with this crazy dog of mine. But she's a good company. I mean, right now she's upstairs in the room doing something, probably laying down. All she do is sleep, eat, sleep, and you know what, and poop. And she loves to eat table food, which I do not give her. Like I would not give her this fish. I do now. I would not. I would not mind giving a fish, but I would not give a fish with this. Um, if I think fish are her, I have to make it with less seasoning and no oil in it, because I don't want to mess up her digestive system. Because number one, I do not want her to have diarrhea all over my house, because you know certain foods trigger dogs' digestive system differently. So you know, I don't want to do that. But I don't know. Let me get closer to you guys so you can get a good look at me. You know, I don't know. I just, I just want this pandemic to end. It's my friends and I, we used to go out like, because my RDO, um, I used to, my day off from work was every other Monday. So every other Monday, we would go to Red Lobster and get that bottle of shrimp and just sit there and tear it up. I mean, that was our, our way. She's retired. That was our way of hanging out together and getting that one-on-one -on -one time with each other. She's actually my neighbor. And, um, and actually, it's funny because during the pandemic, I have not gone to her house that much. I think during the pandemic, I went to her house maybe once or twice and my neighbor directly beside me I want to say I went to her house, but once or twice. So we are definitely practicing social distancing as it relates to this pandemic that we're going through right now. Um, if you feel comfortable getting that vaccine, I would say go for it. Now, me personally, I don't feel comfortable, so I will not be doing the vaccine because I never got a flu shot. I never got, I'm not a sick person. I never had, um, like people get, what you call it? Um, um, what you call that stuff people get? Like bronchitis, um, pneumonia, and bronchitis, pneumonia. What's the other one? There's three. Pneumonia, bronchitis, whatever the third one is. My immune system is very, very healthy. I'm not a sickly person. It's rare that you would see me sick. Very rare. And let me tell you something. One thing about being a vegan, if you all think that I'm lying to you, now, I'm not 100% vegan. I said I'm a part-time vegan. I have to eat certain things to maintain my weight. During the pandemic, I did lose weight. I'm not going to lie. I lost weight. So if you think I'm lying, I will hold my health results up to this camera and let you see it for yourself that when you eat properly, it corrects a lot of stuff in your body. But, you know, when you eat right, it's going to correct a lot of stuff in your body. You're going to feel better. You're going to um, live longer. You're going to be more energetic. Um, you know, you're not going to be as sluggish or tired. Now, I know this is TMI, but each morning I wake up, I do between four and five mugs of hot water and lemon. And I go to the bathroom like seven times in the morning. I'm talking about seven. I mean, I'm not talking about pebbles. I'm talking about bulldozers. That's how I go to the bathroom. When I drink hot liquids. Now, my water, 
it's not cold. If you notice, there's no ice in here. It's just water, it's room temperature water. Well, it's from my, my water machine back there, but it's not ice cold. I don't like cold. The only thing I do cold is really this at Miller Lite. I do love beer, by the way. So I drink, I do drink Miller Lite. But in, in, in theory, I don't really do Chardonnay. Used to drink Merlot, but Merlot is starting to taste like cough syrup, so I stopped. I, so anything sweet, I'm not gonna like it because I don't like sugar. I don't like anything sweet. Me, it's gotta be dry, not sweet. Like Chardonnay, believe it or not, this is sweet, but it's not like sweet, you know what I mean. You can taste a hint of sweetness in here, but it's not something that I can like, not be able to handle. Yep, I'm really enjoying this time. You know, you all, you all, I'm just sitting here rattling. I'm, I'm not gonna hold you all any longer because it's been 23 minutes. I'm telling you, this time goes by so fast. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I want you to please um, go to my channel, give me some feedback and comments on what you want to see from me and some things that I can do to make my channel better. Um, I'm really looking forward to the feedback. I have very thick skin, by the way. And, um, and I hope to see you on the next video. So until then, be good to yourself and to each other. Live right. Live a healthy lifestyle. Um, enjoy life because tomorrow's not promised to any of us. And treat others with respect. And I will see you in my next video. I love you and thank you for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Good night.